What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So let's talk about XRP because there's some information, some articles that are coming out uh, right now with uh, maybe some updates on previous projections of where these, um, where this position can go, where this position should have been. And mainly it's hovering around a prediction that was made for it to go to around 100 to $500. And this timeline is starting to creep up on us, right? To get to that point. And a lot of people like to prove people wrong when you see that you have a prediction that's out there that's uh, based on what you believe is going to happen within the crypto market. People will want to prove you wrong, right? I know it for sure because I will talk about a certain thing and people will be like, oh, you have two days until that's about to happen when in fact they just completely ignore all of the information within the video and why that was even a thing. You talk about certain things and say that this could happen based on all of these things that could transpire. And if all of those things transpire and those that price doesn't happen, it makes sense to come after you know that person to talk about that. But if all of those things don't happen, then obviously it's not in line yet for those things to take place, right? Whether I see the entire supply of say like Terra Luna Classic burned down, I would think that that could happen when you have it implemented within exchanges. However, if it's not implemented within exchanges, you don't see that burns as happening. So you can't really start the clock if you don't really get on the floor. Does that make sense? Um, but anyways, let's talk about XRP because we're in this same scenario to where we had price predictions and uh, I wanted to talk about that uh, within this video. So guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, if you guys wanna check out uh, some of my links down below for Patreon, for Twitter, for HG Access Patreon, feel free to check out those things. Those links are in the description as well as my my uh referral link for margex if you want to start trading with margex it's a great platform you can trade up to 50x leverage on xrp if you want to you can trade 5x leverage or with five dollars at a 50x leverage or one dollar at a 50x leverage whatever you want you can trade on that platform it is a really really good platform um i like it i like all of the different charting and everything there so definitely give it a look but if we look at XRP today, it actually a lot of things are seeing some some green today, which is definitely good. We're seeing that uh, XRP is currently at uh, 53 cents, almost 54 cents, up about 2% on the day, almost at a $30 billion market cap. You can see the movement that we have been seeing today and how this is uh, jumped over some of these levels that it has been resisting from, which is closer to the 53 cent level, but it's at 53.6 or almost 54 cents, which is phenomenal to see. Uh, volume 80% up, it's at $874 million worth of volume. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, things look really, really good today. Overall, with a lot of things, it looks really, really good. And I hope that it continues this route. But honestly, a lot of trends are, are showing me that it probably won't. But then again, crypto tends to go against the grain, right? It goes, it goes completely against what you would think uh, a typical position would do based on the charting, right? I've seen it time and time again, and I've been wrong because of that, where it's like, it should bounce off of this level and it bounces way before that level. It doesn't even get to that point. I don't uh, get my entry point and I can't make a ton of money out of it because it never reaches that level, right? But then again, I never get into the position, so I don't lose any money. I just lose opportunity. But the point is, is that XRP has seen a decent day. Now, what's the conversation that we're having today? Well, a banking expert, a banking expert, it, you know, comments on the unfulfilled um, $100 to $500 forecast. Basically, there was this forecast, and I don't want to go through the whole entire thing. Basically, there was this forecast to say that XRP can get to $100 to $500, and that projection led them to about seven months of an outcome for that to happen. Now, seven months led us to February 2024. Well, right now, it is about to be February in a couple of days, and we are still at a level of now 53, almost 54 cents. That is not 100 or $500. So what really happened? Um, and that was really the question. So honestly, this is kind of the conclusion, right? The $500 XRP outlook. Uh, Shannon Thorpe concluded her argument uh, with a uh, rhetorical question. How do you solve a multi-trillion dollar problem with a 50 cent XRP? Uh, significantly, the, the banking expert maintained that XRP's utility and in the, the payment landscape suggest it cannot remain a low-cost token. Uh, she has asserted that XRP is bound to become expensive. Thorpe 
uh, has gone as far as to claim that a, a $500 XRP or $500 per uh, XRP is an undervalued estimate. And I would sort of agree, it, it is, right? When you look at the grand scheme of things, it definitely is, um, if everything does play out that way. However, it's still not a, a certainty that those are gonna play out that way. Um, she bases the assertion on the anticipation of the, the cross-border payments market reaching $250 trillion within the next three years. Nonetheless, uh, Shannon Thorpe failed to explicitly clarify why the seven-month uh, $500 projection remains far from reality. Um, I don't necessarily think that that's the case. I think you you tell people everything that has to be that, that goes into that prediction. When you have a prediction like that, where you're like, hey, this is going to happen in seven months, give us the reasoning. Give us all of the pictures, all of the pieces that have to fall into play, right? If you have every piece of the puzzle, you have to give us every single piece of the puzzle and, and kind of just uh, hold our hand through that. Because that is a massive prediction uh, to say that this can get to a $500 price, $100 to $500 price within seven months. Obviously, that's a large range. Also, that's a large increase from literally less than a dollar up to those levels, which would be um, multiple trillions of dollars at that point. So if it comes from all of these things that are going to happen, lay that out to say that the clock starts when these things happen. The clock doesn't start before these things happen. So if we're talking about seven months, you got to understand that these things have to be in line. We have to see uh, different things that are happening with Ripple, um, the SEC versus Ripple, that's not still a thing. And that's probably where the thought process was, was like, there's going to be a win before that. And you're going to see this seven month time frame um, end up getting escalated. It's going to happen well before then, because of the fact that you have no litigation, you have implementation, you have, um, you know, just a, a lot of use for the normal person to utilize XRP within their banking institution. And that's kind of where we where we lean. Now, I don't know exactly where that comes from, but I just wanted to talk about this and why these predictions are great to have, but you have to have other information to tell you how you feel about that thing. And I truly believe that $500 is going to be a thing. I truly believe that $100 is going to be a thing, right? It all depends on these things that are going to happen. And there's even a possibility for these, you know, $1,000 level, $2,000 level. If it's going to be implemented the way we all see it, then yes, that's the case. If it's not, then no, it's not going to be the case. But we don't see any other way that that could uh, be utilized in, in the world today. I mean, there's plenty of different ways, but when you talk about a massive use when you talk about um massive adoption that's it right so a cross-border payments is a, a large piece of it a, hu a very huge piece of it but that's not all that's not the end all be all which means that you don't only have that 250 trillion dollar market right you also have so many other markets that may be worth multiple trillions of dollars and just the flow of money in general how much that's actually worth so Guys, let me know what you think about it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to um, you know, check out my uh, referral link for Marjex, feel free to check out that referral link. Honestly, it is a really, really good platform. I don't know how much I could say it. There are already 300 people that are using it um, from what I see. And there's a lot of other people across the world that are using this as well. Um, so definitely check it out. Give it a look, right? You don't have to sit here and invest everything, but give it a look because investing $5 at a 5X leverage, that's more than you investing $5 at zero leverage, but it also teaches you a lot. And I think uh, if you want to learn more about it, I have a lot of videos over on my Patreon and I plan on uh, putting out a lot more, but I'm going to get out of here guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.